this out. Broadcasting live worldwide. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Ariel. Can you say, have faith? Yeah, again. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Have faith, let it begin. (laughs) One day you'll say it. (laughs) Can you say, have faith, let it begin? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Hi. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Happy Friday, everyone. Today, August 27th, 2021. Today is a power of prayer edition, how we close out today and close out the week. I'd like to start off by sending my condolences out to the Miller family, a good friend of mine, John, and his wife, Crystal, and his mom, Cindy, and their entire family, um, losing another member of the family. And uh, I will be there to officiate the uh, funeral services tomorrow. Um, as we celebrate the life of Flora uh, Cherry. So, prayers for this family. They have gone through so much uh, storms throughout the year. Please ask him for prayer for them. In addition, I'd like to thank all of you for prayers for my mom. She's had a little bit of improvement, not too much, but hey, every little helps. We'd like to continue to pray for Terry and for Mike. We haven't stopped, and we'll never stop until... Of course, he's at full recovery, and also until I get a chance to meet with him, because that's important. So, Mike, I'm I'm looking forward to meeting you, my friend. We like to pray for family and friends, brothers and sisters, uh, nieces and nephews. You know, we have to also pause and and say to ourselves, um, prayers for all the things that are happening all over the world, you know. The hard thing about my job here here on this show is I try to avoid talking about things that are happening in the world because I want I want us to be able to look past all that just for a few minutes you know every day but we can't we can't ignore it we can't ignore what's happening in Afghanistan and I'm not gonna get on a political soapbox here that's not my that's not the message the message is we need to pray for the soldiers for the people. And for this violence to stop. That's it. I'm not going to go any further than that. We need to pray for them. You know, we always pray for the military personnel here. Foreign and domestic. These, these soldiers are risking their lives every day. Let's pray for them. Let's get them home safe. We pray for the coronavirus to go away. The Delta virus to go away. There's just so many things happening in the world today that we wish that would just stop. I know a lot of us are just frustrated. There's so many things happening and so many arguments and so many family you know, members and, that, you know, have difference of opinions about the mask wearing, the vaccinations, the mandation of vaccinations, all that. As somebody who works at a hospital, I can tell you, and uh, I had my vaccination. And, um, I feel safe. I feel the safest. I mean, there's still people out there that are claiming to be vaccinated and they're not. Let's just pray for these people to to do what they have to do. Do it to the best of their ability and to remember that if you're not, to be safe and to keep others safe. Safety first. 
Pray for pregnant women, for children, for the elderly, for those that have um, immune systems that are compromised, underlying conditions. We pray for all them to stay safe. We lift up in prayer our brothers, as I stated a few minutes ago, and um, our brothers in Christ, our sisters in Christ, our immediate family and our siblings. We pray for ministries all over the world that continue to do their part in spreading the word, the churches. We pray for forgiveness. We pray for attitudes that they change. If they try to find the good in all they do, stop being so negative. We lift up in prayer our half faith, let it begin family. That's right, all of you that make this show possible, all of you that always reach out to me for prayer or are immediately respond when I ask for prayer for others, I'm praying for you as well. We pray for Cody that he walks a Straight line <laughs> as I'm walking him this morning. We walked in. Come on, Cody. Come on. I said his name and now he stops. We pray for this week and next week. We pray for school. That's right. For the schools all over the world. As they get ready to go back here in the Northeast. We pray that every child who goes to school will not have an issue. Will be safe. And that schools will remain untouched. We pray for teachers. And we continue to lift up and pray for this great nation. With all the storms that are going on in the world today, we pray that these hurricanes turn into tropical forest, tropical rain forest and tropical storms, I guess I'm trying to say the right word, but that they they don't have a they don't pack a punch. That's what I'm trying to get at. That they just be, become regular thunderstorms. And lastly, Lord, I want to thank you for all that you've given me and my family. I want to thank good friends like Dr. Ian Ellie. He always has his patients and his friends and family's best interest at heart. I pray for Matt H. and nothing to something. And he continues to work his magic through his show. We continue to watch out for all the people out there that will try to steal our joy. Allow yourselves to shield. Allow God to be a part of your life. Allow you, help yourself to know who He is. And then no matter what happens in life, no matter how often you feel as if you're under pressure, under the gun, burnt out, ask God to heal you. Ask God to be with you, to give you peace of mind. Remember that God loves you. God believes in you. God trusts you. And God will never leave your side. In closing, I'm going to be adding a new thing. Pretty much every once in a while. This message is for Ariel. One day when you wake when you wake up in the morning and you decide to go back into the archives and you play this message. Daddy loves you. Daddy's always with you. Daddy will never leave your side. Take care of your little brother. And always remember to love him and to respect him and have, make sure he does the same for you. But also that you both look out for one another. Because one day when God calls me home, I may not be able to help you right there and then. But I promise I'll be there with you in spirit and within your heart. I love you both. Have a great weekend, everyone. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and it, yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. 
Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>